In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of exporting a scene from Cinema 4D and uploading it to the Orc Render Cloud. The Orc Render Cloud is a GPU-based rendering service provided by Otoy. And to learn more about it, you can go to orc.otoy.com. Check out on this menu, we have information on uh, help and feedback, preferences, how to purchase credits, how to set up a profile, uh, also information on render token, which you can also use to purchase render credits and so on. But first, let's go over to Cinema 4D and take a look at the scene. So for this video, I'm using the cantina.c4d scene. And what I'm going to do is go to Octane Live Viewer Window, and then I'm going to choose Cloud, Send Scene. And so what this is going to do is it's going to give me an opportunity to save the scene. So I'll save it as cantina.orbix, and let's go ahead and replace it. So what's going to happen next is it's going to actually play through the scene and prepare it for export. So it's gonna export the whole scene in the Orbex uh, format, and then it's gonna open it up in Octane Standalone. And if I go and click on the render target in Octane Standalone, it will render the scene here. And you can see I have my timeline, so I have my camera move and everything. And then within Octane Standalone, I can choose Cloud, Open Orc. And it will bring you to the website, and then you can click on this button to upload the Orbix scene, which I've done already. Once you have the scene uploaded, click on the Create Job button. This will bring you to the page for creating a job where you can adjust things uh, that you have in your scene. So currently I have this set at 1280 by 720, number of samples could probably bring that down significantly depends on the scene of course uh, frame range there's a little recommendation here for testing the current configuration with 10 or fewer frames just to make sure everything is, comes out okay so you can cho choose to do that it's not a bad idea if you're going to be spending money on rendering it you want to make sure that everything renders okay uh, you can set your octane version and then add your output type so if you're going to do PMG, EXR, Deep Image, or OKX format, uh, if I select PNG, it will give me the option of adding a second output. So I could do PNG uh, and EXR, or maybe an 8-bit version and a 16-bit version, just depends on what I need. And then down here, you can actually test your score. So for example, what it's going to do is if I tell how long it takes to render a frame on my machine, it's going to estimate how much it's going to cost on the work render farm. So if I click on this, I can search for my GPU. So I'm using a 1080, sorry, 1080 Ti. And so if I say uh, the time for frame is say two minutes, then it's gonna calculate the estimated cost. So you probably wanna do a test version on your machine first before uh, uploading it to Orc. And so you have a good idea of, of how to do the benchmark. And then once you're ready, and make sure you have enough credits available. Go ahead and press the render job. It will render the scene and then send you an email when it's complete. And then of course, you'll have instructions on how to download the frame sequence.